Warning, this video contains some really like not okay things to look at. It's pretty bad. Uh, and yeah, be, be advised. I mean, so Rockstar is going to chuck out GTA 6 pretty soon now. And honestly, that kind of makes me sad because I was hoping to see a sequel to something a bit more classic like Bully, for instance. Oh shit, that's not Bully, my bad, that's a man getting absolutely eviscerated. Holy shit, he's getting violated. Uh, time for detection, <laughs> Jimmy Hopkins. Fuck. Now of course I'm talking about the Manhunt franchise with Manhunt 1 and Manhunt 2, Hunt Harder Man. Oh, I, wait, no, that's a But also on a completely different side of this spectrum, well actually it's not that different, I've been playing a lot of No Return. The rogue some mode some of The Last of Us 2 Classic Remastered Hyper Deluxe Edition. And the melee animations, the detail to gore in that game is pristine. The best I've seen since Manhunt. I always loved the atmosphere of Manhunt, the, the dynamic soundtrack, the way, the feel of the game, the concept of the game, you know, but the actual gameplay loop of stand in the dark, wait for someone to turn their back to you and then hold a button to get live leak footage. I don't know, it just kind of got boring pretty quickly. Like now that I was replaying it for this video, I just, I, it was a hard time getting through it. But on the other hand, the gameplay of The Last of Us 2 is actually so good, so dynamic, that they made an entire game mode where you literally just have combat scenarios. So these games seem like a perfect fit for this sort of video. And you know, it's also probably me just coping with the fact that Rockstar will probably only just make like GTAs and Red Deads now. I don't know, because you know, they like making money and stuff. So to get this out of the way, this game would be set in the Manhunt universe. Don't really care if it's a prequel or a sequel to the previous games. I guess I prefer prequel because, you know, the whole VHS footage thing. Also, I know Manhunt might be in the same universe as the 3D GTAs, but who gives a shit at this point? Just throw in some easter eggs and like easy references to the other games and just have that be the end of it. Now this section of the video is going to be kept really vague and open because I'm not exactly a writer and or talker and or video editor and or video game designer and or person with any sort of qualification in order for me to be making this video. But the story would be set in some shithole of a city much like the previous games ridden with corruption and criminal activity like that any sane person would instantly avoid like I, I just imagine a family on a road trip being like Oh well honey, this seems like a lovely place to stop and get some snacks for the kids. Oh wow. Oh excuse me, is that is that a man in a clown mask? Uh, face fucking a decapitated head? Oh wow, well I guess we better go. Oh they took the tires off the goddamn car. Can't have shit in Carcer City. Though I love the snuff movie theme of the first game, the government conspiracy thing of the second game is also really intriguing. It would be a good commentary for nowadays, like with a lot of people becoming more aware of the nasty shit that the government actually does. And of course, Rockstar would be the studio to bring something like this to light and also kind of make fun of it in a fucked up satirical way. Like, you know in Red Dead Redemption 2 the story is still pretty serious and it has like serious themes that make you think, but at the same time they have some one-off, you know, kind of dark jokes and, you know, they still bring that commentary on like the American lifestyle and stuff in a sort of satirical way. So there probably would be a way to combine the idea of like this being some sort of experiment from the government and the entire thing being recorded on VHS or something, because well, experiments need documenting. I also wouldn't mind the protagonist being somehow genetically enhanced or like the actual player themselves being some sort of, you know, experiment. Just to slightly make the idea that they would be able to take down entire gangs and private armies by themselves, you know, more believable. More commentary on why government evil. Why is this happening? Are we enjoying the violence? Who are we? And what is the end goal of this entire thing? That's pretty much all I can say for this part. Now onto the more fun stuff. Ah, so the levels. It's hard for me to imagine a manhunt game where there isn't a break between the levels showing a score on how you did. 
That's probably just because those games are old and there simply wasn't technology that allowed a seamless flow of the cutscenes and gameplay. I'll also touch on the scoring later. But the levels would mostly be a lot like other Manhunt games. Decrepit streets, abandoned large buildings such as rundown malls, mental asylums, you know, the usual stuff. The design of these should play on the liminal space phenomena and the uncanny valley, you know, just like Gmod maps. You'd actually rather be in the level with enemies than by yourself. Levels would be interactable, you know, collecting secrets, changing the environment to suit you, such as blocking up paths, setting up cover, environmental executions, etc, etc. So as I said, Manhunt is mostly a stealth-based game. With it sort of being, you know, a third-person shooter, maybe a little bit later down the line, and upfront melee combat is practically useless, I mean boring. It, that's lame, that's icky, ooh, this game, it gives me the i- I think upfront melee combat should be the forefront of this game. So imagine the look and feel of The Last of Us 2 melee combat, but with more nuances. Besides just the usual dodge, you should also have a block and of course it turns into a parry if you time it well enough because any game worth its salt these days needs a parry. And then of course there's some enemies that can only be dodged and some can only be blocked slash parried. As per usual, blocking would greatly reduce damage taken or maybe it would just not take damage. And for dodging we're gonna take a bit off that stamina bar over there. We could also do that so if you block it takes away the stamina instead of the health. And of course, since this is Manhunt, there should be plenty of varying animations and finishing moves with each unique weapon. Now, stealth would of course also still be there with the iconic, the longer you hold, the worse it gets deal still being there. I feel it's just like too important to take away. That's like the hallmark of Manhunt. Guns would still make an appearance, but would be even more rare than in the originals. An idea I also had is that since most of the enemies are usually assholes who don't care about their allies, they would attempt to shoot you even if you are right next to them. And for this I'd like there to be some sort of properly timed counter button or like dodge. And if you dodge just right, there would be an animation where basically your character would use them as a human shield against the shooter. A la Assassin's Creed 3 I think you can do that in that game. This would make it so that if you're caught in a melee scrap and a long-ranged enemy comes by, you don't immediately have to like retreat. And that also gives me the idea that you could like throw some knives and stuff like that, so you could take out the ranged guy quickly. You know, maybe do like a Far Cry 3 thing where if you stab someone and then you take their knife out of their sheath and like throw it at him, so shit. Because like, hey, if it, if there's anything that felt cool in Far Cry 3, it was doing that shit, right? Like, I'm gonna, actually right now, I'm gonna download Far Cry 3 right now and just play until I do that once and then delete it. So how about a game where that happens a lot? Okay, that sounds like a good idea for a game to me. Now just add all the nuances of the usual gameplay of both games, being able to slip in and out of stealth, distractions, use of the environment. Another thing that we need is some sort of environmental executions that could be able to hide the body. For instance, I always loved the manhole one in Manhunt 2, and this would of course help anyone trying to keep it ninja. But yeah, TLDR for this one, I mean it's just Manhunt with The Last of Us 2 kind of gameplay with more emphasis on melee. So the inventory system would function much like Manhunt does. You would have one-time use weapons such as glass shards, plastic bags, wires, that usual thing. Also bricks and bottles because that's the thing from The Last of Us and I absolutely adore the animation of Joel just absolutely smacking someone's shit in with a brick. These would charge up the gore meter when you're behind a dude much quicker and the execution would be quiet. But of course after that it would disappear from your inventory because it would break. You would not be able to even melee combat with these, these are for stealth only. But I'd be okay with still using fists for melee combat, but that's really just not good because it's gonna take a lot of hits for them to go down. So these items are color-coded green in the original and for the sake of familiarity, let's keep the color coding the same in this game. So then the blue weapons are a bit more tough, knives, hammers, hatchets, these would be usable during melee, but they'd have a durability gauge like they do in The Last of Us 2. Some would be more tough than others, 
and their stealth kill, Gore Meter, wouldn't charge up as quickly. This kinda incentivizes using the one use weapons as much as possible for stealth as they are most easy to find because they're just flying all around the place. These would also be throwable so you can throw it as a distraction or chuck it at some guy's head that's like rushing you so you stun him before he does an unblockable swing on you. The red weapons are permanent for the entirety of one level. Metal baseball bats, crowbars, machetes and these can only be used for melee fighting so no stealthing and no throwing yet their melee efficiency is greater perhaps they'd even increase the parry window or something actually scratch the part where i said there shouldn't be executions on these because i'm a moron it's fucking manhunt these are incredibly hard to get in a level though and the enemy holding it is usually one of the toughest if you're more like me and prefer some loud action instead of sneaking around all the time, getting this is essential and the path to getting it is kinda little with you know some distraction and stealth stuff. The melee executions with these have to really have some sauce on it. And I don't mean tomato sauce, I mean blood. That, oh fuck, that joke, yeah, that joke sucks, we're gonna leave that out. Now the guns, to make them a lot less OP, I wanna do it similar to Mirror's Edge. Like when you take an enemy down, you pick up their gun with just the one full clip. And once you use it up, it's dead weight. You'd still be able to throw it in a guy's face and then punch his shit in, cause that's hilarious. This kind of item system would encourage both melee and stealth gameplay. If it's just one or two guys, going in loud with melee can totally work. But in a larger open area with a lot of patrolling guys, it would be better to headshot some key players first before slipping back into stealth and, you know, going more quiet. So in both games we have a diverse set of enemy groups we face, yet it's only in The Last of Us 2 where they actually make a solid difference. The WLF have dogs, Seraphites have those brutes and you can't tell exactly what they're planning because of their coded whistle language, and Rattlers have chained up clickers in the combat zone to introduce some hazards. And even though we met different clans and gangs in Manhunt 1 and 2, they aren't really different in gameplay, just in dialogue, even though I love that, but I'd like to add more. Much like in The Last of Us 2, each gang or hunters could have some sort of gimmick to them. For instance, a militia one like the War Dogs in the first game would have better strategies implemented, would boast slightly better firearms or more firearms, and could also place makeshift traps. Ooh, maybe the player could also do that. A street gang would have better fighters, with more of them being the can only parry or can only dodge enemies, with some being the brutes that can take more of a beating and stealth killing them maybe presents a different animation where they struggle for longer, managing to make more noise so their allies start investigating. Elite private armies like Cerberus would boast fully armored personnel with the hardest AI strategy to beat making melee combat painstaking, but managing a stealth kill on the main guy that has the like armor piercing rounds in his rifle, that one clip could turn the tide in your favor. A gang of deranged psychos like the smileys would act almost like the infected in The Last of Us, relentlessly running after you, attempting to swarm you down, their movements fast and utterly unpredictable, they'd even be hard to shoot. This variety would just be something that would make the gameplay loop of our combat system we have feel even more fresh with each level. I mean guys look, to close this video off, I just really love to see Rockstar step away from the open world model for now. I mean since we are on the topic of stealing shit from Jakey, his video on Rockstar's game design is one I really love and agree with and it would be cool to just, you know, see a linear story path to be put into the full game. I don't even care if it's not Manhunt, I'm just scared of them only making open world games from now on, each like 20 years apart at this point. Like 20 years isn't that much of an exaggeration. And, and I don't know, Naughty Dog is probably gonna release like the remastered version of The Last of Us 3 before they even release the normal version. But yeah, what do you guys think? Do you want to see a new Manhunt title? Do you have any other ideas? I'd love to read these in the comments. I'd love to reply. If this video was somehow worth your time, 
I would appreciate it if you like or if you see any of my other videos and if you really like them, if you want to see other stuff, subscribe, hit the bell, you know, like kiss your mother, come on.